It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and happy birthday to Cloudwater Brewing Company. This is their ninth birthday celebration beer, which they've kindly sent me. Thank you very much to everybody at Cloudwater Brew Co. This is their Double Dry Hop IPA, 6% ABV, 440 milliliter can. Lots of things Cloudwater pioneered in the UK beer industry. They pioneered this 440 can. Before Cloudwater, nobody in the UK was producing 440 milliliter cans. I'm mentioning this because it's their birthday and because they're innovators. They were looking forward, they were looking to do something different. Back in Nine years ago, when they started, it was an awful lot of what we have here. Bottled beer, which is great, which is fantastic. I love it. I love it. But then within a few years of Cloudwater producing these 440 milliliter cans, because they were all 330 milliliter, small coke sized cans of, of, of beer before that, now everybody's doing it. This is from my local brewery in Barry, Vale of Glamorgan Brewery. This is their Sith Order, barrel aged stout, 440 milliliter can. Cold Town, 440 milliliter can. What else do we have? Northern Monk, 440 milliliter can. So Cloudwater were the pioneers. They were also for UK brewing, they were also the pioneers of cloudy beer, hence their name, Cloudwater, which incidentally, I think is fantastic. That name for a brewery, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So, let's get this beer then out into a glass and see what we get. Little bit of smoke on the can opening. Got a cloud water glass, isn't that lovely? I got a great like Pilsner style mug from them. Now I've got this lovely little delicate looking half glass. But look at this. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Oh, doesn't that look good? One to two finger white head. Good levels of carbonation in the glass. Hazy, straw coloured and cloudy and cloudy. Hence the name cloud water. Not much in the way of sediment in the bottom of the glass. That's another thing that cloud water were very innovative with. That they were able to produce cloudy beer but without the great big tyres and shopping trolleys that you may have seen in previous beers floating around in the bottom of the glass. Let's get the aroma then. Oh, it's just, it's just. They're like the pen daring. There's certain companies that just do stuff well and they have a great reputation for doing things well. Penderin whiskey in Wales, top stuff. Companies like Russian River in America, Pliny the Elder. This is a really well-made beer. Cloudwater, UK, they're renowned. It's what they're renowned for, is producing top class top top class New England IPA I'm so pleased I'm so pleased they decided to pull back from the supermarket because they did uh, they did have a little experiment if we if you want to call it that with with Tesco they did put their pale ale in Tesco and I'm really glad that the decision from Cloudwater was to not kind of move forward with supermarket beer because I think there's enough 
there's enough people who order beer online these days that they can just go straight to Cloudwater's website and like direct to consumer, just order it straight from Cloudwater's website. We don't really, unless you want that kind of compulsive purchase where you're standing in the supermarket buying your bread and milk and your cheese and your ham, and you go, oh, I know what I need to do, I need to go and find a New England IPA. It, it, it doesn't really kind of like stitch together. This smells fantastic. Tropical, orange peel, tangerine, grapefruit, tin pineapple, fleshy blood orange. But at another level, this is, this is, even just getting the aroma from the beer, this is, this is top quality beer. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Ah, oh, just, 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 oh, I'm lost for words. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, easily, easily, the best New England IPA I drank in eight months, in eight months. This is, this is next, this, this is next level brewing, this is, this is, this is top, top class. No stone unturned. Attention to detail. Fantastic brewing. Fantastic brewing. I remember the hype when they brought out their double IPAs. They, they had like double IPA one and they went up all the way to, to, to four to five to six. I think it went all the way to 13 in the end. Um, I got as many as I could, but there's hype for a reason. There's hype for a reason. Look at the lacing. Look at the lacing on that glass. Look at the quality of that liquid. Absolutely phenomenal. Great aroma. Super soft, juicy drinkable they've treated the water they've made this lovely soft water they've given the beer a platform to work from by 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 make by, by, by making the water soft they've used the right yeast to make the beer nice and soft and, and you know you're not getting too much flavor from the yeast you get a little bit of malt flavor coming through you get a little ot taste but then it's all about, it's all about the hops. And you've probably heard me saying this before, but, but when you use the right amount of oats, when you use the right yeast, when you make the water nice and soft, you're just offering up a perfect platform for the hops to shine. And this is what cloud water have done, but it's next level. This is great stuff, great, great stuff. If you've not ordered a Cloudwater beer before now, please go to their website and order some of their beers. It's absolutely fantastic. Oh. Drinking this beer. Reiterates the, it, it cements in my mind. The Cloudwater are the best brewery in the UK. They are the best brewery in the UK. They, they, they're certainly the best at producing these super soft, lovely, pillowy, do, <laughs> Doe is not the right word. Um, they're just brilliant at what they do. And that is producing these fantastic New England IPAs. There's, there, there's a lot of talk, you know, regarding 
putty. There was a big thing about putty recently. Um, this every year there's a putty launch. It comes out January twenty, January of every year. Um, but I, Polly's try. Polly's do a half decent job. They they kind of made their way slightly into the supermarket with Marks and Spencers. Um, but I, these guys are the kings. Cloud Wars are the kings of this style of beer. And I'm going to rate this one. Happy birthday, Cloudwater. It's not the easiest industry to be in. Um, I've come from a carpentry background. And when you're a carpenter, you're used to earning like good money immediately. As soon as you kind of pass your apprenticeship, you go out and you start earning money. Uh, the brewing industry is a very different game. Um, th th there's a lot of passion there's a lot of sacrifice that goes into it and some breweries i've known breweries who haven't made a profit in years and years and years and it's the passion it's, it's the dedication that, that that gets these guys through and they're so firmly they know what they want they want a fantastic product and they know if they keep on producing a fantastic profit uh, a product that the profits down the line will just they will just come they will they will just come I'm saying this because we are in a slightly difficult time in the brewing industry in the UK and no doubt around Europe and around the world um, we've had lots of situations with with the 2020 2019 thing we've had we've had brexit we've had cost of living we've had all of these things thrown at us and 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 what i love about cloud wars is the fact that they've not deviated from their line their line is that they want to offer people incredibly great quality beer and they're not going to deviate from that it would it would almost be like Ferrari or McLaren producing a half-hearted car. They're not going to do that, are they? You know you're going to buy a Ferrari or a Porsche or a McLaren. You know watching the Formula One that they're going to deliver on the track. And, that, and that's exactly what Cloudwater have done here. They've delivered on this beer. It's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.